My name is Christian Knorr. I'm working for Ariane Group at the site of Lampertshausen. And here in the project DZMP, I also have the role of the project coordinator, which means that I'm not only coordinating the work of the group, but also that I'm in close contact to the research manager of the EU, organizing all the exchange and the reviews and all the administrative part that also goes along with such a project. So as Linda introduced already, this is our final webinar. And um, I may say that from my side, I'd like to give you a short overview of the setup of the project and the objective and who's behind. It may be, and my apologies for that, for the followers of GZMP who have been online also for previous webinars and following also publications. There might be some repetition, my apologies for that, but be assured that there will be good and new information in the coming presentations of my colleagues as we are now also um, we have completed our test campaigns. We have real hardware on the table. So there will be quite some interesting news for all of you. So um, in the few slides that I've prepared, I'll give, as I said, an overview. We'll have some indication of results and also give a little bit of introduction of what are the main elements of GZIP MP. Now to start with, what are the objectives of the EU Confident Project GZIP MP? The name GZIP MP is first of all already the main objective, which is to develop a gridded iron engine standardized propulsion platform, MP, in that context means for the medium power regime. Medium power regime, and this is now already the transition to the next point, means a platform which is capable to support um, satellites in geo or meo orbits and such a system when we talk about the standardized propulsion platform or the propulsion system, which is consisting of the EP thruster the propeller management system and a power processing unit. And here, one of the objectives of GCFMP is to have all these components, not only as um, single source projects, but to give a final customer also options. So to have a consistent system that we can propose to the market, but also to have the flexibility, whatever is needed on a commercial side. An objective for the group and also for the EU is to become the technology leader in the field of high ISP electric propulsion. And we believe um, also that our technology is ideal for that. We will come to that a little bit later. We will see that in a later presentation, how we come to such a conclusion. Along with the technical development, we also have Let's call it commercial objectives of the project. And this is to reach a high competitiveness by a 30% cost reduction on the propulsion system, which also, of course, needs to be flown down to the individual components. And this shall be reached not only by dedicated development means, also here we will have some insight later on, but um, especially also by high quantity industrialization and serious production. And finally, also, um, we are aiming for having alternative propellants that we can offer to the market. We all know um, that there is a little bit more behind than just a discussion or a test on a component level. So there is a lot of system iteration, system analysis behind, but the system that we provide shall be paid shall be capable of providing that. And finally, I think this is also a strong argument for the EU. Um, with that development, we also want to increase the European independence. So to build up the European capabilities here to develop and manufacture a system without 
external dependencies. Who is behind that group of GCPMP? And I'd like to introduce you shortly the consortium. Um, as you can see here on the slide, it is uh, well spread and widespread over Europe. Um, and I believe this is really a strength of this setup of this team that uh, we have the experts of different fields of engineering, of orbital propulsion, um, but also science, project management, and last but not least, also the marketing and communication, which finally led also to the event that we are now having with the webinar. Um, so I run through the list here from left to right. So we have, uh, first of all, Airbus as the system prime or platform prime, bringing into the game here the requirements from the from the system and their customer requirements but also taking care of the integrated system and in particular here also the fluid management system we have uh, Krisa as the experts of um, electronic development um, here especially with the power processing unit and we'll have some details later on we have aerospatio as experts in ep testing where we finally also had our test campaign of the integrated system. Um, next, we also have Ariane Group, where, where we are in the role of coordinating the activity and we are developing and providing our rich to x cluster for the application. And uh, we also have a scientific partner here, very valuable support also with respect to testing to measurement, to data analysis with the Justus Liebig University of Gießen. And again, last but not least, we have Whitberry, who are supporting us very well in the sense of communication. So this is the team, and uh, each of us will introduce their part of the project and also their results and their findings in a minute. Now to give you a little bit more insight, after the introduction of the partners, I have on the next two slides focused on um, development items, meaning now on the slide that you can see on the screen, which is a view on the hardware elements that we have in GCPMP. And the next slide will also go into the activities, um, starting with the RITS to X thruster. Um, some of you may already be aware of that product. Um, and uh, past development that we did. So it has been presented also in several um, occasions, like conferences and so on. And the purpose here for GSFMP is clearly to finalize the thruster design and validate it for the application of GSFMP. And I phrased already GSFMP is focusing on a specific mission profile, especially for telecommunications market. Um, so this is the step for the rich 2 x thruster to validate it for this application and make sure this is the right thruster that we bring to the market. Um, furthermore, um, we are investigating opportunities for this product to increase the European non-dependence, um, which is true for various elements. I'd not go more into details of this, but we're having uh, several activities here as well. The Final objective of um, our development here as Ariane Group is to initiate the faster qualification up to a TRL of six and seven, and we'll see later on where we actually are, where we now ended up with the activities of GCPMP. And last but not least, one of the objectives here is as well, I mentioned in the beginning the commercial objectives of the project, and uh, this is flown down to us to prepare an industrialized series production to be able to serve the market with high cadence production and in the same time also have an attractive price. The next element, the next big hardware element is the PPU, in particular here the PHV module, the positive high voltage module, which is developed by our colleagues from Krisa. And here especially we have a new development, especially for the objectives of GSFMP, meaning the objectives of improving the performance, the technical performance, but also the cost efficiency 
And um, this is a very interesting and nice development that we can see later on more in detail. This has to be, of course, validated um, not only by design, but especially also by, by design for the electrical development, but also prototype mods have been manufactured and the component has been tested for electrical characterization. And finally, in a coupling test scenario that was uh, performed here in um, Rapolano with the colleagues from Aerospatio. Another hardware element that we were tackling in the project is the xenon fluid regulator um, brought to us by Airbus. And um, the way to this hardware is that a analysis has been performed for the state of the art technology that is available on the market, uh, especially with a reflection on the cost side and here as well also the availability with respect to a European market and production. And uh, on this basis also a prototype element has been provided based on this analysis. Um, and this was integrated as well into the setup of the EPS system testing. For the FMS, of course, also here, the individual characteristics and performances have to be tested on the unit level. So this is, of course, a prerequisite before we are integrating the whole system. Um, but then the, say, the scope of work is, of course, a bit more than just the hardware element when we talk about the complete fluid management system. So this is all in the hands of Airbus DS. Now coming to test activities as example of what we did in GCFMP. And I start here uh, with the rid 2 x unit level testing. So this was performed together with our colleagues from the University of Gießen. Um, they're having a wonderful test facility there. Um, actually built up a completely new test environment um, consisting not only of software but also uh, all the hardware and the measurement equipment and this environment was used for the unit level testing and validation of our rich tricks cluster uh, and we performed functional and performance tests at the university and the university um, supported all the analysis of data and uh, the measurement campaign itself. And uh, what I mentioned already a few times in my presentation so far, this is the final test that we had in GCPMP during our project. This is the EPS coupling test, so bringing together all the hardware, all the development items, um, bringing that together in a coupled test scenario, installing everything under the very experienced lead of the colleagues from Aerospatio and um, those in the world of EP, they know them very well, I guess. They have plenty of experience and good facilities here. So it was a pleasure to have the final campaign here with the colleagues from Aerospatio. And of course, they also supported the data gathering and data analysis. So as I said, this was just examples and highlights to allocate some of the activities to the partners so that you have a good impression of who's behind and what have we done during the project. And now to conclude from my side, let me give you a short summary of the main achievements looking at GCPMP in general, but you will have then the more detailed view later on in the individual presentations. First of all, um, this final test that I now mentioned, the coupling test scenario, of course, is a big success. But at the end of the project, we have been able to have not only all the individual hardware components on the table, but to integrate them and run them in a coupled test scenario and have successfully performed the validation with respect to the mission requirements. We also have for the thruster now a product on the table um, where we have prepared an industrialization approach for series production. So it's not only a prototype uh, or lab environment, but we have all the means for a series production and we have all the elements already prepared to increase or ramp up our production cadence. 
We have also on the electronic side, we have an improved PHV design on the table. It has been developed, it has been built, it has been tested. It's a new development item, so there is still some way to go, but this is already a very, very good success uh, because it shows the potential behind the development and the objectives that have been defined for the development. On the FMS side, um, it is very good to have the overview on the requirements and on the status of the market. It has been well defined and we validated what has been provided by Airbus. This was also hardware which has been brought to the EPS test setup and it gives a very good indication of where we are in Europe. And I believe this is also a valuable asset for the EU to have that transparency on the market situation. And here with respect to the system, um, we have a, a good definition and we know the way forward also on the side of the fluid management. Another element, uh, especially in the world of EP is um, that we have prepared here within the GCPMP project also a kind of um, standardized environment for testing. And this was true especially for the activities with the colleagues in Gießen. So as I said before, there was a brand new setup installed, but it was kind of standardized in the sense that we had a lot of alignment before, but it was managed and built up by the university and uh, we immediately saw the, the payoff in the end because it was a very smooth preparation of the campaign. So we, we see the positive results already here within the project. And last but not least, we have successfully performed the EPS coupling test campaign. This was the final test, as I mentioned before. And of course, we are all happy that we now can report a little bit more about the successes that we had in detail. So thank you very much for listening here to that introduction, but that was only the first step. And I now hand over to my colleague Christoph for a deeper insight into the RIT 2X.